A scavenger hunt for money in Greensboro tonight. The breakout games event brought out crowds of people searching high and low for hidden $100 bills. And for one man, it was the perfect cover story for an elaborate proposal to his girlfriend. WFMY News News' Alma McCarty shows us how it all unfolded. When it comes to wedding proposals, some people like to do it big with careful planning leading up to the shocking surprise. That was certainly the case for one couple tonight. When it comes to finding the one, they say when you know, you know. She's just the line of my life. She, she's everything. Braven Burleson said it wasn't a matter of if, but when. So he crafted a surprise engagement. I love geocaching, so I was like, yeah, we have to do this. And I've been trying to find a way to propose to her, and I, I just couldn't miss out on this opportunity. Pretending to have won money through a citywide scavenger hunt, he told his girlfriend, Merrick Brady, to meet him downtown. And then he finally texts me back. He's like, shows me a picture where he had found one of the $100 bills. I was like, oh my God, you, did, you found money? And he was like, yeah, babe, I found it. So I called him, I'm like, but where are you? Where is the money? He goes, I'm right by the baseball stadium. I'm like, okay, I'm parking my car, I'm parking my car. Braven told her the people who organized the event wanted to get pictures inside the ballpark, but they were in on it too. They are actually Braven's co-workers and inside the bat was a ring. I had no idea. <laughs> I had, not, not, not an inkling or a clue at all. The bride and groom to be say they couldn't be happier, having won their own kind of treasure hunt. I don't know anybody that's like him. So I knew that he couldn't go anywhere when he when we met each other. So I love you. I love you too. <laughs> In Greensboro, Alma McCarty, WFMY News 2. What a great idea and congratulations. They've already decided that they're going to get married next October and even started looking for venues.